Roy Smith. So you want to be an electrician. Well, there's a couple of things that you probably ought to know. Electricity will kill you. No, I mean, you know, no breath, gone, happy hunting ground. You can't see electricity. I make the statement, electricity will kill you, only because it's a true statement. Can electricity be worked around safely? Absolutely. Are there precautions? Absolutely. I tell the kids in the class at school, trust no one. Don't trust me. Don't trust your mama. Don't trust your daddy. Don't trust the owner of the company. You have the money that it takes to buy a tester, a voltage tester. Anytime you're working around conductors, it takes but a second to verify if they're energized or not. Do not work on energized equipment needlessly. If you're going to work on energized equipment, make sure that you have a method of procedure already written down. Method of procedure meaning what are you going to do, when are you going to do it, how are you going to do it, what are you going to do it with. You have no business working on live parts. It's foolishness. It's not expected. There is criteria that you must follow if you do. And as a general rule, I have worked for companies that said, we will not work on energized equipment, period. And that was the company rule. If you want someone to work on energized equipment, get somebody else. But I've only touched on one segment of safety. Safety goes farther than that. Safety is something that is everybody's responsibility. Safety would be 90% taken care of if everybody just picked up their own crap. The stuff they leave laying around that they don't even think about. And you can watch it at lunchtime. People will eat their sandwiches, they'll take their plastic baggies, they'll roll them up in their hand, and they'll try to play like they're a basketball star with the trash can. And sometimes they go in, and most of the time, like the Kings, it doesn't go in. And when that happens, who do you think is going to pick that up? Well, it's the same way when we're cutting off ends of conduits, when we have a little bit of overage on our cement pour, when we're using a rotor hammer and we're creating dust with the rotor hammer, when we're doing trim and we have ends of wires that we cut off, when we take the wrappings off of fixtures and leave it. It's a simple process. If you made the mess, clean your mess. That will prevent someone from tripping. There are a lot more accidents caused from ditches that aren't covered correctly, holes that are not prepared to be left open, things laying on the ground and people tripping, ceiling wires hanging and stabbing somebody in the eye or in the face, little things that you have done yourself now becomes someone else's problems. And I say that to tell you that's caused a lot more injury than that electricity that I told you could kill you that you can't see. Most of the accidents are caused by the things you see. I've had incidents happen in my own life that were horrible accidents. But the intent of the most horrible of those accidents in which a man lost his life, he was trying to save the company money. He went into a live transformer because he forgot to install a ground and it was lunchtime, and he didn't want anybody to know that he had forgotten the ground. 
and he reached in that transformer and fried himself and he fried for 30 minutes on that transformer. The transformer did not blow a breaker. The transformer did exactly what it was supposed to do except for it fried him clear. I had to go to his wife and his children and tell them your daddy is not coming home tonight. A task that I think about on a daily basis when I see one making a foolish mistake. Do not bring that into your life. It's unnecessary and unneeded. It is a great profession. I'm proud of your decision to become an electrician understand it must be treated with respect. Glad you're on board. See you in the field.